Hello everybody, Pete here, and I think this will be my last video regarding some of the really interesting tips and tricks and things I learned from Autodesk University 2020. I didn't get to attend every class that I wanted to. The best part about it being virtual is they're still out there, so go check it out. But this video is going to involve some of the really interesting things that you could do with the line tool. So I think I knew two of the three things already, but I'll just kind of summarize them all. But this is again, another tip from Mike Thomas's really good inventor sketching class. And I'll link that in the description below. So here we have a sketch and I'm just gonna make some sort of a bracket. I've already started it. And we'll go ahead and apply the line. And I'm just gonna show you some of the really interesting things that you can do with the line. And if you see anything else that maybe I don't know about, I love learning, so please add any comments below. But the first one is kind of a classic where we can start an arc from the end of the line. I'll just go ahead and go back. You'll see your cursor change color at the dot. You left click, hold and drag in the direction you wanna create the tangency. So I wanna create a little bend at the bottom of my bracket. So I go straight down. Then I go to the right, and as soon as my cursor lines up with that little X, I know I've got a 90 degree arc. And you can kind of play with that. We can always add dimensions later, but we'll just put it about right there. I'll release, and now I'm back to line mode. So I can go ahead and add in whatever dimension I want. We'll say it's two inches here. Oops. Make sure I get my alignment so it's tangent. Then I left click. And then we can do the same thing on this side. <clears throat> if we left click, hold and drag, we can again go 90 or 180. We can keep going though, and we can have it line up here. And if I touch this point and go straight across, I can get this where it completely lines up like so. Left click, and then I'll just play connect the dots to create the rest of my little bracket. And we can always apply the rest of the dimensions and constraints. But that's one of the first things is you can draw these arcs from the ends of lines can be incredibly helpful. The next one is where we can actually draw different types of lines from an arc. So if you start from an arc, you can create a tangent line, or in this case, if you pull away right away, you can create a radial line. So it's kind of connected to the front or to the center of that circle at the front. And then I can connect the dot here. And if I hold on to the arc this way, but go tangent, now I can start a line being tangent and play connect the dots back here. Oops. So that's just some really interesting stuff that you can do with the line tool. So most of the time we draw lines and we're making rectangular shapes, but you can do some really interesting things with arcs and lines actually. Now, one last tip, um, <clears throat> this doesn't necessarily force this to stay radial. So for example, if I change this to I don't know, 0.375. It may not be radial, so what you may have to do is you may have to apply a coincident constraint between the two. There, now it's always going to be in line with that radius. So those are some of the tips. Uh, I'll go ahead and finish the bracket, but that's what I wanted to show you at this point. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you want to keep going with me, I'm going to show you another tip with the extrude command. So I'm just going to apply one last constraint here to here. I'll line those points up and then there's my bracket. So I'll finish that sketch and then we can extrude this. So if I was to extrude the shape, the tip I like is I can extrude this and let's say I want that to be two inches. Well, if I hit OK, I'd have to go share the sketch. And I shared this in another video, but by hitting Apply, it creates the feature. And now I can create additional extrusions. And so that could be symmetric, but maybe it's only one inch instead of the two. So you can play little games like that. And I keep hitting Apply. And then I can create these little web shapes. And maybe those are only a quarter inch thick. So in a matter of just a, a little bit, I'm able to create a bracket like so. It shared the sketch and there is my 3D shape. So just a lot of little things that you can do to make your modeling a little bit faster, a little bit better. Like I said, leave me any comments, 
if you know of another really interesting way to use the line tool, I'd love to see it. If you have any questions, please hit, up, hit me up and have a blessed day.